friends. Okay, so I had many requests after um, my last video on my free makeup haul from CVS to do a video on couponing. Yay! And how I get stuff for free all the time. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go through some basic couponing 101 types of things. And then I'll talk specifically about drugstore couponing because it is a bit different than grocery store couponing. Okay, so the very first thing you need are coupons. Duh. Um, best place to get coupons are from the Sunday paper. Or not the best place. That is one of the main places. The Sunday paper. Now, here's a couple guidelines that I personally use when um, getting my newspaper. First of all, the price of newspapers has gone up, which, yeah, it used to be like a dollar, dollar fifty, and now it's three bucks. Here's the thing. Um, the really good thing about our newspaper here in Louisville, Kentucky, and I'm not sure how it is around the country, I guess it's about the same, is they have like a little box in the upper right-hand corner that tells you how many dollars worth of coupons are in the paper. So, for example, um, if it if it says um, over $180 worth of coupons in the paper this Sunday, whoa, I'll get one paper. Um, if it's like $250 plus, then I'll get two papers. Once in a while, they will have like $400 worth of coupons in the paper. Oh, I'm getting three or four papers on those days. <clears throat> Other things to note about um, coupons. You can also go to coupons.com and print off coupons. Um, the great thing about that is you can print all of the coupons at least three times. And so, and that's free. So, you can build up your repertoire of coupons that way. Um, other things you can do, get on a mailing list for the grocery store, wherever you buy your um, groceries the most, and they will send you coupons. For example, I shop almost exclusively at Kroger's for my grocery because, of course, you use your Kroger Plus card. They send me tons of coupons. I get booklets of coupons from Kroger's at least once a week, sometimes twice a week. They also send me um, coupons electronically based on the types of things that I've purchased. You can also, on your Android phone or on your iPhone, any Kroger's or Kroger's subsidiary, like I think in some places it's called King's, and I forget what it's called other places. Anyway, um, you can go online and download electronic coupons. Now, here's the thing with that. If you've got a paper coupon and an electronic coupon, you can use both for the same item. Hello, mo money, mo money. Okay. Anyway, so that's a little something. Those are some basics of where to get coupons. Um, other thing, and again, for other stores, like even Bath & Body Works, um, Macy's, wherever, if there's somewhere that you love that store, get on their mailing list. If there are certain products that you absolutely adore, I don't know, maybe Green Giant, whatever it is, if it's a company and you love their products, Go online, sign up for their mailing list. They will send you coupons through the mail many times for a higher value than what you would get um, in the Sunday paper. Or you can use them both. I'm just saying, all those things are out there. The other thing you will want to invest in, a coupon holder. Y'all knew I was going to be pink. Quit playing. But anyway, here's what's funny. I didn't even buy this. Um, my secretary actually bought this for me for Christmas one year. I think it was last year. Anyway... So, if you open it up, and it see, it has these little label things. See, here's a printed off coupon right here. This is what they look like when you go to coupons.com. But anyway, it's got these little dividers, and it, like this one says produce, for example. And mine are arranged in the aisle. They're arranged by the aisles that I go through at Kroger. So, literally, I just go section by section and take my coupons out. Uh, I keep mine pretty well organized in here. I keep I throw away all the expired ones and all that, so I don't have to worry with it. And then as I use them in the store, I put them in this little front thing. So when I get to the register, I just pull out the ones I'm using that day and hand it to them. Super easy. So let me go over a couple of other basic couponing things that you should know. Number one that saves me a huge amount of money for the most part, other than some things like um, milk and bread and things like that, 
for me to put it in my basket, it has to fall into two categories. Number one, it has to be on sale. Number two, I have to have a coupon for it. I'm going to say that again. On sale, I got a coupon for it. If it does not fall into these two categories, I usually don't buy it. Now, in order to follow that, you also have to get out of the mindset of buying things that you need. I know that sounds crazy. Don't buy things when you need them. You buy them when they're on sale. What that means, for example, let's talk about laundry detergent. I don't need laundry detergent right now. But if it's on sale and I have a coupon, I'm going to buy it. And I will stock up. Most of the time, I have anywhere from 3 to 10 things of laundry detergent in my um, laundry room. Why? Because there's going to come a time that it's not on sale. I don't want to have to be forced to buy it when it's not on sale and I don't have a coupon because then I'm going to pay more. So if I only buy it when I have a coupon and it's on sale, I'm saving the most money. So there are going to be times where you have, say, tons of cooking oil or tons of whatever it is that you use regularly. You should always have a huge amount of that. That way, when it's not on sale, you don't have to worry about buying it. So, on sale and you have a coupon. That's what you buy. Stalk the Sunday paper. Because in addition to coupons, it also has the ads for everything that's on sale that week. And you can plot and plan as to where you're going to go to know where you're going to save the most money. Um, for me, that's almost always Kroger's. I always say the people at Kroger's truly love me because they send me coupons all the time. Um, when I go into Kroger's, honest to goodness, believe it or not, I almost never stand in line because I always go to the same Kroger's. The customer service manager is really nice. And every time he sees me, if I'm approaching and there's a line, he will open a lane for me. They love me at Kroger. What can I say? And it helps to be nice. When you're really nice to people, they will be really nice to you. Like they never give me an attitude because I hand them a stack of coupons like this. I'm just putting it out there. Be nice. People will be nice to you. Moving on to CVS. Okay, CVS has an extra rewards card that looks just like a Kroger Plus card, only it's red. Now, a couple of things. When you go into CVS, they have a coupon machine. And you scan your card and there will be coupons that print out just for you to use. And they usually expire within two or three days. So it's really for you to use that day in the store. Um, on my last video about couponing, I talked about um, using um, the coupons that were spend $12 on cosmetics, get $4 off. I had two of those that printed out from that machine. Also, just this week, almost every like Wednesday or so, I'll get an email from CVS like this one. And if you look, if I spend $15, I'll get $3 off. So I'm using this this weekend. The last time I went to CVS and did that makeup haul, I got all these extra care bucks. Now look quickly. Extra care, uh, they call them um, extra bucks actually. So here's $10. This is like a $10 bill. This, $7. This, $5. Here's another one for $4. Here's another one for $1. And another one for $1. Add that up. $28 right here. So that's $28, $29, $30, $31 $30, right there. So just in these. And that don't even include the coupons I'm going to use on whatever items I buy at CVS. Right there, over $30. Bucks right there that I'm going to get for free at CVS. Um, and here's the thing. I've got these extra bucks. When I go purchase some stuff, I'm going to make sure they're items that I also get extra bucks for. So I will be getting the stuff for free, but they're also going to give me more of these when I check out. So it's more money, more money, more money. Okay, so those are just some basics. I will try to come back and do another video with um, some more details, but these are some basics. So if you have questions about couponing, um, let me know and I'll give you more information. Okay, have a great day. Do some couponing. Get some free stuff. All right, bye.